Okay, so let's take a look at the point query info. So I'm going to open this and point query info holds the result of a point query made on shape or space. The properties are as follows shapes shape the near shape none if no shape was right within range and point to the closest point on the shape surface in world space coordinates and distance to the distance the distance to the point the distance is negative if the point is inside the shape and gradient the gradient of the signed distance function Okay, so discount, distance, gradient, index, point, and the shape. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to open up uh, the space uh, API and I'm going to use this. Uh, 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 Here it is, point query and point query nearest. I'm going to use this one, point query nearest. So query space at point, the nearest shape within the given distance range. And it needs a point, a max distance and a shape filter. And it will return a point query info or none. So it will return this object, this point query info. Okay. So I prepared here a simple scene. And I have three shapes. One is the dynamic, uh, this circle is dynamic. You can uh, see that a dynamic shape is this blue light blue color and this uh, box or this square is a kinematic shape or kinematic body and this has this light uh, green color and this uh, line segment is a static body and it has this whitish color so here is the circle dynamic here is the poly or the uh, square, it is a kinematic body and the line segment which is a static body. And I also created this on mouse press window event. So here when I press the mouse I'm going to query, um, create a point query info. So I'm going to name it point underscore q for, point for query and uh, space that point query nearest. Okay, so the first, first is the point which is a tuple and it will be the x and y which is the the mouse X and mouse Y. The second value I add the uh, here it is. It is the max distance. I'm give it zero. And the pymunk pymunk dot shape filter shape filter object by among the shape filter uh, here it is third argument is the shape filter okay and so now let's print out this point query point query when I click the mouse let me see it so when I click to the black area, as you see, it prints out just none. 
when I click on the circle, it prints out this point query info. The shape, which is the circle shape, the point where I clicked, the distance it also has a vector to gradient. And let's see uh, now the um, box shape and uh, segment. So this was the poly or the square or the box shape. And this was the line segment shape. Okay, now what we can do with this Let's say I'm going to ask here if point Q, so if I clicked on a shape, so if it is not none, if it is none, so if I, if I click on the oops, uh, black area, it will just, it this if statement won't, uh, run. So let's print out the point query that shape and the point query that shape that body. Okay. So here it is, the circle shape, I clicked on the circle and it's body. So this is the mass, the body's mass, the circle body's mass and it's a moment of inertia and the body type which is dynamic. And now this one and this one. So secondly I clicked on the poly object. Here it, it's body, which is a kinematic, and lastly I clicked on the segment, and here is its static body. I just prepared uh, some some demonstration. What oh, for what is it useful to actually? how to use this point query info. So let's say I created here a simple GUI system with point query. So I'm going to switch to to, 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 to this oh, where it is. Point query GUI. Here it is. So I have here start and a quit. So when I click on the black area, nothing happens. But when I click on the start button, it says the start button clicked. And when I click on the quit button, it will uh, print out that quit button clicked and it will quit the application. So first of all I loaded two images and I set the anchor point to the center or the origin point. One of these images uh, start button and, and the quit button. These are 300 by 120. I created them in Inkscape. Then I created a class button which inherits for from Pymang the body and I give them an ID. I set the body type to body static. Mm, here the position and created the shape just boxes with the same size as the images so 300 
on X and 120, uh, I mean 300 width and 120 height. And then I add adding them into the space and I'm also creating a sprite object from the uh, image and I'm setting their position to the uh, body's position X and body's position Y here. And I created a draw method to actually draw these sprites. And here I created two buttons. The first argument is the space. The second argument is the ID. The third argument is the position and the image button start. Button start. And the second button, it has an ID of two. Here it is its position and the button quit, which is this image button quit. And here in the on draw method, I'm drawing these both these uh, sprites. And in the mouse press, I'm doing a point query nearest. And if I'm click on the shape itself, so if it's if it's not none, then if point query the shape shape that body that id equals button one id then it's it means that we are clicked on the start button so start button clicked will print out and if point query that shape that body that id equals equals button two that id it means that we clicked on the quit button and we are exiting the Pilot application with pilot.app.exit. So with point queries, technically we can create uh, simple uh, buttons and some GUI system.